the last drug I'm going to talk about, um, just in the group of heart failure drugs, is digoxin. Um, again, this was a drug that was very popular back in the 70s and 80s and even the 90s in heart failure care. Um, it's helpful in some patients with a weak heart. We use it now that if a patient continues to have symptoms on maximal therapy, we will add digoxin to hopefully alleviate symptoms. Digoxin won't make them uh, live longer. Digoxin may keep them out of the hospital, but there's really no, more, no mortality benefit to digoxin. Digoxin basically just blocks an enzyme in the cardiac cell, and the heart muscle can contract a little harder. We also use it mostly now for irregular heart rhythms, such as atrial fibrillation, to keep the rate controlled. Um, and then we all know that the problem with digoxin is we can have problematic toxicity, and we have to monitor serum levels periodically. Sometimes we have to use IV medications in our heart failure patients. Um, IV drugs are used either short-term for relief of sudden, or of sudden symptoms or severe symptoms. We talked about the diuretics already, so if they're developing uh, if they've got overwhelming heart failure symptoms and they're very congested, we'll switch to IV diuretics for a dose or two to just enhance diuresis, get rid of the gut edema so the pills work. There's another group of drugs that we sometimes use, um, IV, and uh, these are the inotropic drugs like dobutamine and milrinone. And I'm talking about these because we don't typically use these only in the hospital anymore. We can put patients on a continuous drip at home and they'll wear a small pump and have a pick line, and then they'll we'll infuse this drug 24-7. Um, so this, these home infusions alleviate symptoms. They make patients feel better, but again, there's no mortality benefit. This can even um, hasten mortality. It can cause arrhythmias and things. So we don't like to use it a lot. We will use it sometimes for a bridge to transplant or for palliative care. So if the patient is end stage, they're not feeling well, we'll put this, on the, this drug on them and just make their symptoms better and keep them more comfortable at home.